Well, in honor of this holiday season, it is the second annual Family <laughs> Recipe Week. Yay! And Jeremy, yes. what you're making today, I have not talked to a lot of people that have ever had this. I grew up on this. You grew up on this. We happened to talk about this the yeah. other day. To kick things off, I'm going to be making my grandmother Norma's chicken divan. Okay? A lot of people haven't heard of this. And I'll be honest with you, Kelly, yeah. I have not had this since my grandma died. Oh, seriously? I have never. This reminds me of her. And the holiday season is that time of year where you really miss your family. Yeah, you too. Who aren't there anymore. That's right. So, this reminds me, I, when I was a kid, you know, my grandpa was the preacher. Right. My grandma was the preacher's wife. And she could cook. And she could cook. So, we had Sunday dinners every Sunday. Yeah. My job was to set the table. Oh, was it? So, grandma was cooking. I would set the table. She had beautiful china. Uh -huh. And she had these beautiful crystal goblets that uh -huh. we would drink from. They kind of nice. look like, as an adult, I was like, they kind of look like wine glasses. Oh, did they? But no drinking in our right, house. Right, right. No, no. But I would set the table. Grandma would make this. And I've always remembered this, like, thinking, oh, man, I remember that, that broccoli chicken thing Grandma used yes. to make. And it brings back such great memories. Yeah. I also just posted on our Ozarks Fox AM Facebook page about Chicken Divan. Right. So tell us if you've had it. Tell us some of your favorite family recipes. We'd love to get their yes. response as well. So, should we start making it? Let's start making it. Okay. okay. So, first thing we need to do is we're going to make the soup mixture. So, Kelly, we're going to need two cans of cream of chicken soup. You know what, Jeremy? I'm not sure, but I think we might have used cream of mushroom soup in ours. You know what? I love cream of mushroom. I think so maybe I we would did. totally not object to using, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm trying to make this exactly like Grandma oh, you did. You should. Now, my mom, even when I called her about this, she, was she had changes that okay. she had made. Mm -hmm. So, um, feel free to em embellish or change. I was just trying to recreate that, that no. memory of the taste I have in my head. And honestly, I don't know exactly what went in it, into it because I maybe made it a couple times. Mom made it, but um, I, I remember us talking about it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know anybody else who has ever made this. All right, Kelly, here's the weird thing that I always remembered. Mm -hmm. We need one cup of Miracle Whip. Oh, one, yes. Mm -hmm. One. Now, okay. here's the thing. As a child, yeah. I thought it was... Mayonnaise. Yes. But my grandma's recipe said Miracle Whip, and I know a lot of people have feelings. Yeah, I know for a fact we used regular mayo because my mom didn't buy Miracle Whip. Right, and your dad liked Miracle my Whip. My dad right? liked it. <laughs> yeah. Let's put. The... Oh my goodness, it was crazy. So I'm putting in the Miracle Whip. That adds a little bit of the tang, I think. Yeah, I agree. Now I I grew up on Miracle Whip too. I used to like Miracle Whip better, and okay. now I think I kind of like. Now, Kelly, as I stir this, would you mind putting in a one teaspoon of lemon juice? I would not mind at all. To me, this kind of sounds crazy when you're thinking about it, like That's Miracle a Whip and... This is a teaspoon, okay. And it's very creamy. Yes, it is. I'm trying to get all that soup incorporated. Yeah, okay. and I don't know what the lemon juice actually does. I think it's just a little bit of a taste thing. But again, if you are watching at home, we posted on Ozark's Fox AM Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you've had chicken divan, because I've not heard about this in forever. I know. And, then we happen to and you know it. the word divan can also be used for a couch. Yes. And yes. That, because we used to call the couch a divan, the divan. all the time. My did Aunt Bonnie you? did, yes. Oh my goodness. She was over there, go sit on the divan. Not like, many people did. No. That's crazy. Okay, that is mixed. Okay. We're going to set that aside. Okay. Now, here's what I did last night. Okay, guys. I remember my grandmother always baking the Saturday before because mm -hmm. you put this in the fridge and then it's easy to pop in the oven right after church on Sunday. Right. Okay? So break. let's. Oh, yeah, because I need you to do this. Okay. I'm going to spray this. I took um, eight slices of bread last night, okay. and I toasted them, and I made my own breadcrumbs. Okay. So what we're going to do is take four tablespoons of melted butter. Get that lid ready, Kelly. Okay, we're just going to, we're not going to toss it with us. We're going to shake gonna, okay. it. This is my favorite way to blend you know, things. Okay. okay, ready? And put that lid on tight and shake it. That reminds me of, this is shaking, bacon. I and failed. I failed. There we go. Get Make sure that's okay. set. Okay. Shake those up really good. And I am going to spray the pan. Yep. With some cooking oh, look, spray. It's, it's kind of sticking on the bottom. Should I get that um, off there? We can scrape it okay. if you want. Okay, so this is where it's, it gets weird to me because I sprayed it, okay. and we're gonna. You know what? I'm wearing gloves for this reason. Okay. We're gonna put half the breadcrumbs on the bottom of the pan. Okay. And by the way, funny note: I brought my glass pan from home this morning, and yes. it wouldn't fit in our little toaster oven that's in no. our break room. Yeah. So I was really upset about that because you could see the layers going in. You know. Yeah. Oh, that's right. With the glass, you yeah, can with the see glass, it you can see it. Okay. okay, so we've added the breadcrumbs. Next, we're going to add I 21 ounces of broccoli, which I also cooked. It needs cooked broccoli, right? Because everything basically in this is going to yeah. be cooked. It's already cooked. When you heat up, and you had broccoli in yours, right? Yes, broccoli is in mine. 
Oh, goodness gracious. This is... I'm trying to remember my grandma making it. She would always do lots of prep work Saturday night. My oh, grandpa yeah. would be prepping his sermon for Sunday, and my grandma would be in the kitchen. Cooking and us, a beautiful meal. I and love those it. kids would be you so know, loud, you know, crazy. The other thing I love about your grandmother is that she did use some beautiful uh, place, uh, place settings. Oh, yes. And Her that, table was always... Yeah. Now, you know what this is, Cal? I baked last night, it took forever, six chicken breasts. Six. Okay. Six chicken breasts baked and then cubed. This is going to bring my childhood back, Jeremy. This is so great. It's bringing it back to me. I just, yeah. oh, I could just remember those Sundays. Yeah. It was such good times. So good. I'm going to make this this, I'm going to make this this weekend. I re you know what? I was thinking about making it myself because I just have not had it in so long. And I know the memory of this is just, not just at Christmas, but all year long. Yeah. So, man, that's a lot of chicken. That's a lot of chicken. I'm glad we got this deep pan, Kelly. Me too. <laughs> Kelly found this for me this morning. I'm like, oh, here, here's okay. one for you. Okay. Next, we're going to add, uh, well, you know, I salt and pepper the chicken. I guess we'll be fine. I was going to add a little salt and pepper okay. to that, but I see that we're running got out of time. There. Okay, let me pour this mixture on top. Okay. Oh, you now, the viewers at home at are like, yes, could you spread this on mm -hmm. as we go? Yes. They're like, how are they going to get this done in time? Well, the good news is we're going to put this in our. Toaster oven and bake it at 350 mm -hmm. for 35 to 45 here. minutes. There we go. Man, I didn't think this is. I thought this would go further, but I did exactly what Grandma said. There we go. And you know it's good. I mean, some recipes don't have an exact, an exacto. Mm -hmm. I, I think people do kind of like to hear exactly what goes in it. But okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Next, we're gonna need uh, the cheese. Right there for you. Okay. Perfect. My hands are kind of messy, Kelly. Would you oh, mind yeah. doing you that? Oh, yeah. You want to just do this? Yeah, just sprinkle it on. Now, you've got two things of cheese. You're going to put the whole thing on? Well, no, I didn't know how much it would take, honestly. All right. So. But I say more cheese, more better. I think this whole thing of cheese is going to be good for sure. Perfect. I'm, you know what? This is all cooked stuff anyway. Yeah. Yeah, just dump that in. Just dump okay. the whole thing. There I'm we trying, go. I'm See, there we go. Perfect. Now the all... breadcrumbs, Kelly. The oh, last breadcrumbs. step. Breadcrumbs, yeah, I forgot. We, those got to go on top. The yep. breadcrumbs. All right. And there we'll we go. Kind of... And we'll sprinkle those. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Yeah. I'm so proud of us, around. Kelly. Look at this. Yeah, this looks so good. Oh my gosh, this is going to be delicious. I hope so. So now, here's the thing we've layered it. Okay. We're going to pop it in this oven. Yes. And we're going to okay. bake it for 35 to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. This is already preheated. And then, guess what, y'all? In the next hour, oh. we're going to invite Joe and Elisa and Kaylee and everybody to try this. Grandma's Chicken Demand for Family Recipe Week. I can't wait to try it. It's I know. Be so good. I'm so hungry. All right, coming up, it's our weekend wrap. Yes. Don't go anywhere. Here, let me help. Is that good? You. Okay, thank you. It's cooking. Okay. It's cooking. There you go.